Jessica Menken Contellis. And I'm Winona Bidet, and today we're going to walk you through the basics of the new Frogfolio design platform. This is what you will see when you first create an ePortfolio using New Education. Each component on this page is organized as a separate module and can be changed. We'll talk about changing them in a moment. The new Frogfolio organizes sections on the page visually with slides. When you begin your new ePortfolio, each page will start with one slide, and whether you want to add more is up to you. We'll talk more about slides in a later video, but if you would like to add another slide, you can do this through the Add Content button at the bottom right of the page. Let's talk first about the text module. When you click in the area containing the text, you should see these four icons. The first icon, the pencil, can be used to add written content into the module. If you highlight a word, several options appear, enabling you to bold, italicize, underline, and add hyperlinks. You can also differentiate text by changing some text to a heading, or change it back to a paragraph. You can also add bulleted lists, numbered lists, and quotations. The second icon takes you to the Customized Styles setting page. This page provides many style options to help you personalize your text in whatever way you'd like. Click the paintbrush icon to access the options. Here you can change the font style, size, and color, as well as the background image or color of the module itself. The third icon enables you to move the text module within the slides grid system, like this. You can also resize the text module by clicking the bottom right hand corner and dragging. If you somehow manage to put more text into the module than shows, you'll see a resize to see hidden content flag. If for some reason you don't have hidden content and this same flag appears, don't worry. When you switch to publish view, as we'll show you in a moment, that flag will disappear. The fourth and final icon is, is the delete option. When you click on this, a message will appear asking if you are sure you want to delete the module. If yes, type delete. But be aware that once you delete the module, you will not be able to get it back. To make your changes public, go to the upper right hand corner of the page and use the publish drop down menu. Then click publish this page. To see your published changes, Use the toggle right next to that published dropdown and click it to switch to published. You can always go back to edit if you're not ready yet and do it all over again. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any further questions, please feel free to visit us in the Frogfolio Lab in Reese Jones 101. You can also email us at frogfolio at tcu.edu. In our next video, we'll explore customizing your background.